So in the previous video, we dealt with um, differentiating matrices, vectors, and scalars with respect to scalars. Um, so basically, we're done with this, this, and that with this whole row. Um, as a reminder, all we did is, let's say we're having a matrix. So to find its derivative with respect to a scalar, all we did is um, do elementwise differentiation. So we made news. We made use of the Leibniz notation, so multiplying this by the matrix, like introducing this to each element in the matrix. Um, so yeah, now we're done with that, and we're gonna look in, look at this row, which is differentiating scalars, vectors, and matrices, but this time with respect to vectors. Okay, and starting from here, I'll have to introduce something called the layout notation. So when you when you're doing matrix differentiation, you have to follow one of two layout notations. They're just layout notations. Um, this is like the main difference on the layout. One is like the transpose of the other. So um, the first layout notation is called the denominator layout notation. And for this notation, okay, the convention is if you would like to find um, the derivative of a matrix or a vector with respect to whatever, what you got to do is first take the transpose of that matrix or vector. Okay, so this is how it works if you're using the denominator layout notation. But now I'm going to be using what I used for the last video. I didn't like ever get the transpose of y before differentiating. So I was using the numerator layout notation. And for this one, you take the transpose of the vector x in which you're differentiating with respect to. So for the last video, it was always a scalar x. So it did no difference. But starting from here, before taking um, the derivative, we'll have to take a transpose of what we're differentiating with respect to. So if, it's, if we have this column vector, so x1, x2, x3 is like our set of variables that um, are forming a vector that we would like to differentiate with respect to, then partial over partial x is going to be, um, you just do it to each element, okay? And then you, all, you also get rid of the transpose. So you like, you apply the transpose, um, both are the same thing. Um, okay, so let's look at some examples. So for this one, we've got y equals sine x plus y, z. And we'll like to differentiate this scalar with respect to this vector. So, um, uh, okay, let us find. So we're doing partial y over partial the vector, partial the vector r. So it's like just having partial over partial r, okay, multiplied by y. So what is going on in between these two is the Kronecker product we explained earlier, okay? So partial over partial r is going to be um, partial over partial x, partial over partial y, partial over partial z, because you have to take the transpose here. And then y is just sine x plus y, sine x plus y, z. Okay, so this will go in here, here, and here. So um, our vector will look like here we got cosine x plus y, z. And then, uh, I guess, z cosine x plus y, z, and then y cosine x plus y, z. So, yeah, that's what we got. Um, this is going to be our partial y over partial r, okay? Um, and this is how you differentiate a scalar with respect to a vector, okay? Now, let's try to do, let's try to differentiate a vector with respect to another vector. So in this case, um, we're having this one up there. So y is um, a vector. It has components e, dx, y, z, x squared, z, and y, x, okay? And what we'd like to find is partial of the vector y with respect to the vector r. So um, r is gonna be the same. So partial over partial x, okay, sorry partial over partial y and partial over partial z okay and um here we've got the y as it is so e x y z x squared z y x sorry y x now remember what is going on here is a chronicle product so um basically this will go in here here and here okay so let me like move this equal because it's going to give me a 3 by 3 matrix. Um, so when this column goes here, what we're going to have is yz, e to the xyz, um, and then 
2x, z, and then just y. So, and then when it goes here, what we're going to have is x, z, e, z, x, y, z. Okay, this is getting so crowdy, so let me like figure it out all the arrows. Um, okay, so here it's going to give me 0, and here it's going to give me just x. And then when it goes here, we're going to have x, y, e to the x, y, z, and then x squared, and then 0. So this is basically partial of the vector y respect to um, the vector r. Now, this, is, this also has another name, okay? And you might have been familiar with it before. It's called the Jacobian, okay? So this is the Jacobian. Um, okay, so now we're fine with differentiating vectors with respect to vectors. Time to do the same for matrices. Not going to be any different, okay? Usually this is like laid out um, with no proofs in research papers, Wikipedia, stuff like that. But basically what's going on is just a chronicle product. So, uh, okay, here uh, what we've got is partial y over partial r. So par partial over partial r of y, which means partial over partial x, partial over partial y, and partial over partial z in a Kronecker product with the matrix x squared yz, xy squared z, xyz squared ln xyz okay so this will have to go in here here and here so what we're gonna have is very big matrix right um okay so first when we differentiate all of these with respect to x here we're gonna have 2x yz and then y squared z and then um yz squared and then I guess x, y, z, y, z, right? So, okay, we need some more area, I guess. Let me, like, move this. Okay, it's, like, nothing. But anyway, um, I'll just, like, do it again. Okay, so we're done with this. We're going to do this now. So um, here we're going to have x squared, z, and then 2x, y, z, here 1 over y and here x z squared okay you <laughs> still need more space so okay i don't know what to do actually um let me like move this a little bit down yeah okay and then differentiate the whole matrix with respect to z so x squared y and here was xy squared and then here was 2xyz and then 1 over z so this is going to be our solution of partial y over the matrix y with respect to um, the vector r so yeah this is basically going to be how you differentiate with respect to vectors okay the next video will be um, on this row and it's going to be just the same because vectors are like just special cases of matrices so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much.